Hi everyone, my name is Noella. Welcome to the Taste of South Sudan cooking channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make spinach with peanut butter. This is a nutritious, healthy meal, delicious, and it also cooks very quickly in about 15 minutes. I will be showing you how to make this in a second, but first, this recipe can be found on the website Taste of South Sudan, and we are running a campaign to get 100 subscribers on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe below to our YouTube channel. The ingredients for spinach with peanut butter. First, we'll be using long stem spinach leaves. So I prefer the spinach with the stems because the stems create fiber and structure to the meal, whereas the soft spinach would usually not create that much structure. Um, we'll be using an onion. I have about one onion here. Um, and one tomato. We'll be adding salt to season our food. And the important ingredient is peanut butter. It's best to use peanut butter that's organic, that does not have sugar in it, or else your meal will end up tasting a little bit sweet. To chop the spinach leaves, we are going to align them with all the stems facing in one direction. And then I'll just gather it in my hands like so and we're going to start chopping in this motion. And just keep moving your hand back as you chop. So once I have chopped all the stems, for the leaves, I can chop them a little bit bigger in size. We are going to start cooking our spinach with peanut butter. So what I'll be doing is I'll be boiling the onions in half to one cup of water on my stove. Our onions have boiled, so I am going to add the spinach to the pot. We'll add all of the spinach, and you'll see that it's going to actually end up shrinking to less than half of this volume as it cooks. So our spinach has been cooking, and at this point, we are going to be adding the peanut butter. How much peanut butter you add depends on the size of your meal. So I will start off with a quarter of a cup and it looks like I'll probably be needing a lot more than a quarter of a cup. I think I'll end up with maybe one cup of peanut butter. Just have to make sure to get it mixed in and you have to cook the peanut butter as well. So the spinach with peanut butter is coming along quite nicely. I am going to add some tomatoes as the last step. Now, I don't need these tomatoes to be fully cooked. They're really there to add a little bit of color to the food. I'm gonna get that mixed in and have it cook for just about five minutes, and then we'll be done. This is another classic South Sudanese meal from Taste of South Sudan. My name is Noella Moga. We have plated our food here. You can serve this with asida, kisra, bread, or even rice. Thanks for watching everyone. Subscribe below and come back and visit us for more videos from Taste of South Sudan.